Meg caught shooing Harry away to let her sit next to Ken Griffin at the concert. The billionaire shuns them. The Sussexes spokesperson released the rumour that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were spotted mixing with billionaire Ken Griffin and super networker Michael Kives during the trip to Las Vegas last week. The couple headed to the city in Nevada for the closing concert of Katy Perry's residency at the Resorts World Theatre on Saturday. Prince Harry and Meghan were both spotted in the audience at the venue during the show. It had already been suggested that they were joined by oil company heir Michael Hurd and his wife entrepreneur Whitney Wolf on the trip, and it's now been reported that they also spent time with investors Griffin and Kives. Griffin was seated next to Prince Harry at the concert. He said to have founded hedge fund Citadel, and according to Forbes, is worth an estimated $34 billion. The philanthropist has been described as a major Republican donor by CNBC News. Kives, who appeared to be sat behind Prince Harry and Meghan at the concert, is said to run investment firm K5 Global. He's said to have been previously been a talent agent for creative artists agency CAA, with his former clients said to have included singer-songwriter Katie. However, in fact, the representative of hedge fund investor confirmed that it was coincidence when Ken Griffin was sitting next to Harry. Ken Griffin is part of a group bidding to buy the Telegraph. According to New Report, the American billionaire Ken Griffin is in talks to help fund a transatlantic takeover bid for the Telegraph, led by his fellow hedge fund manager, Sir Paul Marshall. While it was coincidental for Ken, it was an arrangement for Meghan as an insider says WME bought a seat and knew who'd sit around them. The insider said, It's interesting to see Ken Griffin and Harry's conversation. Harry tried to talk to Ken. Meghan's husband wants to be in censorship with Press Forward and the Aspen Institute. Ken Griffin joins GB News owner in a bid for the Telegraph. It's interesting Stanford is getting some heat for their election integrity partnership. Harry was part of a panel with someone from Stanford Internet Observatory. Rude Harry also asked the billionaire how much his mansions were worth, Alec Evan Costner's friends with no manners comment. So Kenny, are we talking over or under $150 million combined? By the way, do you have a beach house? There's no way that anyone business savvy with real money wants to do business with Harry. He's a wasted ex-royal who doesn't even visit his dad, the king, with any regularity. In the meanwhile, Meghan asked Harry to sit next to Misha and let her sit next to Ken Griffin. She wanted to chat with the billionaire, but Harry refused because sitting beside a man would give him comfort and someone to talk to. Meghan Markle probably joined WME just to get access to more rich people who she can use and manipulate. They need to stop trying to hang out with billionaires because they're just making themselves look pathetic. Like, if they just stuck around with the country set and been nice little discreet millionaires, they could have at least come across as classy. Now they just look like the desperate poor relations trying to keep up. It's tacky.